Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Inferno Project. Um, special video today, you get to see me for a change. And I thought I would do my top story for each Doctor. Uh, this is going to be purely based on the TV series, so not comics, not uh, audio drums, dramas, because I haven't listened or to or read any of them. So, as a result I can't do Paul McGann or John Hurt, because they only did one thing, well, one thing apiece, Night of the Doctor was really a mini episode. Uh, this is going to be in two parts, and I'm also going to do a runner or runners up for each Doctor. So, key off the list we have William Hartnell. Um, he is one of the Doctors I have neglected the most, probably the second most neglected I'd say, because I, I do need to get a few more of his. My runners up I chose The War Machines. Um, really, really good story. My one problem with it though, mainly was Dodo. Uh, Dodo wasn't I don't think Dodo's a great companion, personally. Um, I do know a bit of her backstory. <sighs> she's she's just not great. Um, no, I don't. That was my main problem. My winner was the Daleks, the second ever story and the first appearance of the Daleks themselves. First monsters. They certainly left their mark, didn't they? It's a great story. It is a seven. It <clears throat> Sorry, it is a seven parter. Like I can watch it in one go. It doesn't drag at all. It's, it keeps you. Uh, Keeps you entertained. It's really, really good. Uh, if if you're a fan of Doctor Who, you have to get the Daleks. It comes in a box set with uh, an Earthly Child and Edge of Destruction. The first three, you need to get it. It's a great, great box set. Then moving on to Patrick Troughton. Um, this one was probably my hardest because I only have three of his stories. Um, I have seen some of them via iTunes. Um, I've got the Ice Warriors and the Crotons but neither of them I thought were particularly good. My, I don't really have a runner-up for him, um, but my overall winner was Tomb of the Cybermen. Great, great story. Very... Ah. It's difficult to describe them without sounding cliché. The Cybermen are great. Telos, I think, was a great setting. It's Victoria's second story as a companion. She's great. Jamie, as always, is amazing. I think Jamie was fantastic. I mean, that's why one of the reasons I want more Patrick Trapp because I want more more of Jamie because Jamie's amazing. But uh, Tomb of the Cybermen hands down was the winner. Very very enjoyable. Third Cybermen story and second Patrick Trapp and Cybermen story. So another really good one. Then moving on to the best Doctor in my opinion, John Pertwee, the fantastic one. I had four no not four runs. What am I about? I had three runners up. Um, my three runners up were Planet of the Spiders, The Green Death. The Sea Devils. All three of them are six parters and six, six stories. Three really, really good stories. Very, very good. But the my winner was some of you may have guessed the channel's named named after it. Inferno. It is, Inferno is an amazing story. So original. It is is it is the conclusion to John Pertwee's first season, and it is absolutely fantastic. I am the moment I watched it, I couldn't stop. I had to watch the full seven parts in one go. It was amazing. I thought it was so good. Um, if you're a casual Doctor Who fan, if you're a long-term Doctor Who fan, unless you really don't like John Pertwee, you need to get this story, because it's brilliant. Get it now. Now go on to, open, if you're on your computer, open a new tab and uh, watch out and get it, off, get it off Amazon. Do it now. Uh, I'm only joking, in case you didn't get that. Fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. This one was probably my hardest one, personally, because I really, really like Tom Baker. Tom Baker, I think, is great. Uh, I had two... This time I had two runners-up. Uh, Pyramids of Mars and the Stones of Blood. Pyramids of Mars, I'd say, is the better of the two. It, it, it had me hooked the moment I watched it. Uh, Stones of Blood is still very, very good. But my winner was actually The Talents of Wang Chiang. If I, get, if I pronounce that wrong, I do apologise. Such a good story. Um... It's a six-parter. Once again, it doesn't drag, keeps you interested, and you don't actually meet the main villain until a bit later on. It keeps you interested in some little twists and turns. It's well worth it. Um, I got it in the Revisitations 1 box set, I believe. That one has really negative reviews. People claim that it's a rip-off. Just ignore them. If you can get Talented Wing Chai out, if you can get that, that box set, I would get it. It's really, really good. So, and finally for this video, we've got Peter Davison. This was probably my hardest choice. Personally, he's not my favourite Doctor, but he's definitely, he's, he's, I think he's my, he's my third favourite. 
and I had a lot of runners up. I think again I had three. I had The Visitation, Resurrection of the Daleks, and The Caves of Androzani. Three runners up. They're all really, really good. Um, the Visitation is amazing. Caves of Androzani, wow. He certainly went out with a bang, didn't he? And Resurrection of the Daleks, hands down my favourite Dalek story. But my overall winner is actually Mordrin Undead. I really like Mordrin Undead. It's the first of the Black Guardian trilogy. It's a really, really good story. Um, it introduces Turlo, gives Doctor three companions again. Turlo is in it, introduces Turlo. When I started watching it, I was hooked on Turlo. Turlo was really fascinating. He's a really interesting character. And I've, I've had to watch quite a few of his extra stories. I've watched Plants of Fire on iTunes just to find out more about him. He, I think he's a really fascinating character. So Mordrin Undead, hands down, takes it. If you can get the Black Guardian trilogy, I'd do that if I were you. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm going to have below, hopefully, the... No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Ignore what I just said. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you for part two and for my next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.